Hey everyone, a pleasant good day. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a look into who the Flyers can trade for. And I figured I would do this a little bit different than I first anticipated, where I go division by division of the teams out of the playoffs, or that seem like they'll probably be out of the playoffs or still looking to maybe move on for some people for future assets and getting some other assets in, like the Vancouver-esque on the bubble teams or the Calgary on the bubble teams. And the reason I bring them up is we're going to start with the Scotia North Division and what trade assets could be for the Flyers in that division via the Ottawa Senators, Calgary Flames, and Vancouver Canucks, since I think those are the teams. All these other teams are in plus goal differentials. These three that I mentioned via Calgary, Ottawa, and Vancouver are all in big minuses. The closest to a positive is a minus eight by the Calgary Flames. Um... I just think the Montreal Canadiens, if they keep committing with Ducharme to that um, defensive m- motto, they'll probably end up staying in the stretch run and just staying in fourth place. Winnipeg's emerging as a top three. And then you obviously have Edmonton and Toronto, who are both tied for 40 points right now. I still think Toronto has the better cream of the crop team uh, when it comes to the Scotia North. But that's just the way it is. But let's get into it. When it comes to the Ottawa Senators... Uh, if you look at their roster, there's actually a couple people the Flyers could have some interest in. Assistant captain Eric Branson is now at his age 29 season, obviously a former first round pick. Uh, never has panned out to be uh, as such as what you would want out of a first round pick. Um, but has become a solid defensive defenseman, and the only reason is plus minus because I know people are going to yell because it's at a big minus fifteen. He's playing with the Senators. Um, he looks pretty solid and steady Eddie on the ice. A shout out to Jamie Bascal wrote about him in his one article. Check out Flyers Nitty Gritty. Uh, he's a guy that brings leadership, uh, brings the ability to kind of just bash people out of the front of the net as well, and uses big fr- body frame at six five two twenty about very effectively. And that's what I think the Flyers need, someone that can kind of be that veteran. If you're not going to bring up Morin, he's a guy that can do all the same things and has proven to be able to do it at the NHL level. Not spectacularly, obviously, but just to a good effect where the Flyers could potentially use someone like him. But if I'm looking at Ottawa's defense, he's not the main guy I'm trying to go for. If I'm looking at Ottawa's defense, a guy on the taxi squad... um, who um, really has played, who was undrafted, but has played well when put in at a plus one in 24 games, seven points, uh, two goals, and five assists. I don't think they're looked to trade him because he seems like a pretty good undrafted find. But if for some reason coming out of Russia, he played in the KHL for the great SK, SKA St. Petersburg team, uh, producing 22 points over there and just being a great defensive defenseman. Um, if they would, for some reason, trade Artem Zub, I think Artem Zub is the best guy to go for because he's a guy that plays great defensive defense. He kind of plays like a better version of Adam Larson where he'll actually get the puck off your stick using his 6'2 frame and his great stick uh, handling ability in the defensive zone. But then he'll know what to do with it and not turn it over and not do things that we've seen Hag and Gus uh, kind of get um, clenched into where... Um, Ghost is a guy, um, I will say, too, with our defense. If you're not as into him like Charlie O'Connor tweeted because of the defensive numbers AV was looking at and everything and he's been going down, you might want to then bring in somebody else like how jomerson has been mentioned that I'll get to in another video or get to um, some guy in the Vancouver and Calgary uh, forefront that involve... Um, maybe a little bit more offensive skill set as well, where Zub brought a little bit of that in the KHL, but I think in the NHL he's more of a, maybe he'll get you like solid contributing teens points-wise offense, but just be a very good steady defensive guy for you and contribute there, and that's something that the Flyers could definitely use. They've already found a lot of undrafted guys of their own. If for some reason Ottawa is willing to give up one of theirs, that would be nice. And by the way, um, this video is just going to be on recommended defensemen uh, from the Scotia North, um, where later with these three teams, I'll go into forwards that I think if we want to add some more physicality or kind of energy spunk to our team, uh, who we could get there. So that was the Ottawa Senators. Our Tam Zub Gabranson would be really 
the guys that you could end up going for. Both the right-handed, the Flyers need right-handed guys a little bit more than they need left-handed guys, which they already have a bunch of, obviously. So that's the other reason I kind of went for those guys. Uh, when you look at the Calgary Flames and their roster of defensemen, um, obviously they're not going to trade Rasmus Anderson. Uh, Christopher Tanev would put you, one, he has a no-trade clause, but two, he would put you in a bind with the expansion draft, and for bringing on someone like him, uh, I'm not so sure that that's necessarily worth it. Um, and then Nikita Nesterov is left-handed, um, as well as others on that team. I think they're the team, unless if you're going to bring in maybe if they want to just because he's aging at this point. But again, uh, you're hurting your chances just like how Ekholm has two years, Giordano is a bigger captain and has two years. You then are going to lose somebody that you can protect in expansion. He would be a guy that would obviously be great, the captain, if they want to move him. Uh, Hannafin's a guy that has some promise going forward, has bounced back and played pretty well this year if they would move him. But the problem with getting both of those guys is they really affect your expansion going forward. So I would say when it comes to Calgary, uh, I would just rule them as don't really look at them that much for a defensive guy um, because they have guys that have multi-years or guys that they're just not like they're not going to trade Volamaki. Um, if you want to trade for Oliver Shillington and try to develop him, sure. But I think the Flyers need more of a surefire guy now. Where if you got a Hannafin, you kind of know he's able to bring something to the table now. Over Shillington, you still need him to fix a lot of the um, holes and rawness he has in his game compared to a Hannafin who's really seemed to step up and be a little bit more consistent on the defensive end as well, similarly to Brady Shea uh, doing that in Carolina this year. So I think from them, I would just stay away from them when it comes to defensemen because all of these guys have multi-years and that's just going to put you in a bind um, when it comes to it. So for now, we just have Zub recommended and Gabranson uh, from the Ottawa Senators because when it comes to Calgary, their defensemen are going to put you in too much of a bind uh, for expansion drafts. So since of that and um, doing this off the cuff because I thought it would be more fun that way, let me see if there's somebody else I could recommend um, from the Senators team in order to replace that. A defenseman, if we want to go lefty, that I've always thought just played a good, solid, steady game is Mike Riley. He doesn't do anything overly impressive, but he can pass the puck a bit. He's got 11 assists. He kind of plays a good, steady, um, don't do anything stupid game. So if you want to add him in there, I think he's a guy you could get. He's uh, been in the league for a few years now at the age of 27. Um, he's not going to mess you up with the expansion draft. He's a UFA after this year. So I would say Mike Riley's another guy if we will go lefty. And I don't think any of those guys I mentioned, maybe Zub would take a bit because he's young and has a, uh, a ceiling. But Gabranson and Riley I don't think would take much to get. And then Artem Zub or other guys from Ottawa. And then again, when it comes to Calgary, it'll just screw you in the expansion too much if you go for one of their defensemen. When it comes to Montreal... Uh, they do, though, uh, as we skip over Vancouver real quick, they are a team in the playoffs, but there is one defenseman I need to bring them up because of that they might look to move, and that would be restricted free agent Victor Mete. Um, if you want to get him, he would definitely uh, add to the team. He's only 22 years old. He got drafted in the fourth round, and until Romano uh, came over, um, he was really a steady guy in their lineup, played 51 games, 71 games, and 49 games respectively, and played 10 in the playoffs and was a plus one with two points and played a good solid defensive game since he's more of that, a defensive defenseman that'll get you team points max. Um, he's a guy that I think would be a good guy to look for. He kind of screws a little bit with expansion being a restricted free agent, but not not to a degree of anything of an Ekholm or anything like that. So I think he's someone... Uh, you could definitely still look to. He's on the smaller side, but plays a good defensive game. Can usually get the puck out of his zone pretty good. When you have Romanov, though, come in. You have Ben Sherratt when um, in doing very well. Kulak continues to impress there. Edmondson's mixed in really well. 
um, which kind of made Mete the odd man out since Edmonds is just a defensive steady Eddie defenseman similar to Mete. So I think getting him to bring up Montreal real quick would be a guy the Flyers should look to since even though he's left-handed, he plays that can kind of simplify the defense game even though he's at a pretty young age and he's a guy that you can make even better over time. So you're bringing in a good young guy that has even more potential. And now we enter our last team in the Scotia North Division that would bring up as a potential trade candidate for the Flyers because I don't think anybody from Edmonton or Toronto or Winnipeg is as likely to be moved with where those teams are and just the, where those players are at on their team. Um, if you look at Vancouver, I think the obvious guy that could get moved is the $6 million on just this year remaining tag of Alexander Edler. Um, if you want to get him, he's again another lefty, but a guy that just plays a great steady game, has been a veteran in this league now at the age of 34. He's a guy like Niskanen, if you bring him in, will just kind of solidify and calm down the defense. So he definitely has the ability to do that. You're not going to bring in Tyler Myers because he has $6 million for years ongoing. Um, Jordy Ben, if you want to bring in a tough lefty, if you want to have that veteran that can kind of do the things Mooring can do, but has proven it at the NHL level. Uh, Jordy Ben can definitely be that guy. I don't think Hamannick's going to leave ha Canada. Excuse me, he's always wanted to play. Just seeming like over there where he doesn't have the decision. Um, well, no, he actually does have a no movement, so he does have the decision. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to um, end up leaving Canada. But I would say when you go there, you have Jordy Ben and you have Alexander Edler. So when it comes to the Scotia North Division, they can look at Mike Riley, um, who's a good lefty that plays a solid game, can pass the puck pretty well. Or Tam Zub who's basically a better version of Adam Larson's undrafted guy coming out of SK St. Petersburg in Russia on the Ottawa Senators that can actually get the puck out of the zone when he gets the puck off of people's sticks in the defensive zone, unlike an Adam Larson. And then when it comes to ca Canadians, that would be Victor Mete, the good defensive young 22-year-old defenseman that's just able to get it done in the defensive zone but move it up the ice a little bit more effectively than somebody like a Justin Braun at this point of his career still has all the wits, just can't move as quickly that now can become the seventh defenseman or six, sl six seven slide defenseman like he should be at this point of his career. If you make any of these moves, Gabranson's another guy that has a big frame um, at around 6'5", and just uses it very well and effectively when at his best. And it's not going to take a lot to get any of those guys, except for maybe Zub from Ottawa, but Riley or Gabranson shouldn't uh, take much. Calgary, again, I think you should just stay away from people that have too many guys on multi-year deals that are going to mess you up in expansion draft. And then when it comes to... Vancouver, if you want to get Alexander Edler for one year, similar to Niski, he can settle down the defense and kind of bring everyone into a more concealed grouping and kind of getting along and getting smoothly chemistry-wise, rather than kind of being divided and all over the place and leaving guys wide open. Uh, Jordy Ben will be a nice bruiser, a guy that can do what things of Samuel Morin can do if you don't trust uh, Morin, which I'm not sure where the organization is with that. I believe you should get another call, but it doesn't matter what I think. No, if the organization doesn't think he's going to be the guy to go to, Ben can do a lot of the same facets that a guy like Moore is able to do, just hound people out of the front of the net, check very well. And he's not the most consistent guy getting the puck out of his own zone, but uh, he has gotten better at that as his career went on, so he's a guy you could look to as well. But that has been the trade targets defenseman-wise for our Philadelphia Flyers in this edition of the Grittiest Take. From the Scotia North Division, we got into someone from the Canadians, who are actually a team I think will be in the playoffs, so those won't always be mentioned. You got an extra uh, chipper in there from me uh, in other videos. And then Vancouver, Calgary, and Ottawa, who we thought could be good trade targets defense-wise for our Philadelphia Flyers. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hope you all have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and enjoy the hockey. Peace out, everybody.